Mark Thiessen is a fellow at the American Enterprise Institute and a Washington Post columnist. He just wrote a column on this. Mark, uh, so now it's 36 percent of approve of Obama on foreign policy, just 29 percent approve of his handling in the Middle East. And you, you reported today on one thing that may be factoring in there. Tell us. Absolutely. Well, this morning on Capitol Hill, Congressman Ed Royce, the chairman of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, uh, he revealed that for a year, Iraqi officials had been requesting, begging, pleading with the Obama administration to carry out drone strikes against ISIS and that those rep repeated requests were all denied. So what that means is the Obama administration, one, was not caught by surprise. They As were they warned claimed. about this a long time ago. And two, they had a chance to stop ISIS when they were in staging areas in the Iraqi desert before they went into cities and took over these cities that were liberated with American blood. And declared an Islamic State. We could have stopped this before it happened. Not only do we have the authorization of the Iraqi government to go in and carry out drone strikes, but they were begging us to do it. And according to Congressman Royce, those requests were turned down. They were warning, according to Congressman Royce, they were warning the Iraqi officials were about this dangerous threat being posed by ISIS and where this was likely to go. This is August of 2013. It was January yes. of 2014 that ISIS took control of Fallujah and the president was asked about that by the New Yorker. And this is what he said. The analogy we use around here sometimes, and I think this is accurate, is, this, is if a JV team puts on Lakers uniforms that doesn't make them Kobe Bryant. He had been warned repeatedly. He, they captured Fallujah, and he was out there saying in January, half a year after the warnings came and they were ignored or overruled, it's JV. This is, this is a huge story, and what it does is it puts responsibility for what's happening in Iraq squarely on the president's shoulders. He had a chance to stop this. The Iraqi government gave us the green light to carry out. One of the biggest obstacles to drone strikes is, will the government allow us to do it or not, the post-government? The Iraqis were begging us to do it. We had a chance to go in, and this is a president who, recall, that the Obama administration leaked that he personally draws up kill lists. For drone strikes. Mm -hmm. We're doing drone strikes in Pakistan. We're doing them in Yemen. We're doing them in East Africa. Why would we not do them in Iraq? I think the answer is, is because it would have been an admission of failure. It would mean that his withdrawal had led to the resurgence of terrorists, and he didn't want to admit that if he was carrying out drone strikes in, in Iraq. So he let the, let the threat muster. He reportedly bragged in another interview, quote, I'm pretty good at killing people. Uh, but declined to do so when this terror group that is beheading Iraqis by the hundreds uh, was on the rise. Mark, thanks for being here. Thanks, Megan.